just wanted to talk about the epic um, blue moon, full moon. It's called a blue moon in the zodiac sign because it's possible to have, it's probably the actual blue moon that we should be talking about as far as if you ever heard of the term blue moon. It's in the zodiacal signs that there's 30 degrees and then the sun does the basically roughly 30 degrees, right? 30 days. That's how long it takes to go through the zodiac. And it's kind of sparsed out in the middle there. And there's always a big question is if that's really real. But the truth is real and we do have an esoteric way. If, even if it's fragmented, I mean, God, I just went off, flew off the handle right there. Let's get back to what I'm just trying to say. Um, we have... A blue moon in Capricorn coming up. It's the, it's the second full moon in Capricorn. There was the Capricorn full moon in the beginning. The last full moon was in Capricorn. And this full moon is in Capricorn. Thank you for sitting through this. My God. Just made the last video about um, an atom bomb dropping. And I'm, I think I'm fine. You know, I'm, I'm loosening up a little bit. It's talk about loosening me up. You know. Um, I'm just happy. One of the one of the best things. I mean, if I do like, if I do like anything about Trump, is that he encourages encourages everybody that has a disaster. He just says, "Well, just go camp out." He says, "Just camp out." But I think he says it just under his breath all the time: "Camp out, camp out." So get ready to camp out, people. All right. So now we have. Uh, I was looking at the the first. Um, square um, op opposition that we have with Pluto, which is like, okay, so when do we have this full moon? Well, it's on the third, 23rd. Here, let me look at it. Yeah. It's, it's auspicious. Very, very auspicious because it's pointing right at this end of the era of the, the Capricorn, but it's not quite over yet, you know, because we have the last of the last like finishing up, it, there's a finishing up happening, but with the finish up, as far now, what, what do you mean? What's finishing up? Well, our a lot of our perceptions are now opening up to like, whoa, this is a, it's a institution made of the financial, and doesn't doesn't make sense to say it's a it's the financial institution because it's a mental institution driven by the financial. Let's just get that all together. What do you mean mental institution? Well. Take away a lot of enough truths, and you're being gaslit, and that drives you crazy. Yeah, and then you are anyway. It's a long story. I didn't want to get into this, but you are being held captive by an alien base thing that's stuck here. It's called the prison planet for a reason, and there is a very, very um, heavy duty occupation here that is deep and just the way it is, folks. Um, you need to bore yourself completely to pieces by it and turn your back on it and go and look at a feathered creature or something. Go out there and look at a tree, hug a tree or something. Yeah. I mean, that it's a, that's a simulation too. I mean, but you can take, what do you want to take with you? To heavens, to the heavens, because thank God there's an end to this, right? Big illusion, by the way. It's an illusion, and I don't want to freak you out. Because the illusion is real, too. We have this amazing full moon coming up. And, you know, it, it does square my... It does square my... Um, my my Mercury. At Uranus conjunction by one degree, my Mercury. Very full cup of Libra here, talking and communicating on a level is like, of course, I'm interested in the quality of the human relationships that we're having here. And um, uh, has it started yet on the planet? I don't see much of it happening, you know, because that means that, uh, see, Jesus over there said two or more. If you, if you just get together two or more and it's like, yeah, I know two or more. It's like, have you noticed how crazy everybody gets when people are about to really, really, I mean, they, it's, there is love on the planet. When I, what I mean is people can actually get along. Boom. You know, there could be something totally different than than the, the the crashing rat race. Now, you know what? I really don't mean how, like, what musicians see. Uh, people call musicians. They, they duet better, by the way. But let's just talk about this. 
how that we're like, well, we're having a great time. We can do this like every day, maybe every, at least every week. You know, as we get together, we're harmonizing and being on time and people are getting together. But then sometimes like it happens that, well, somebody in the band, you know, they fall in love with somebody or so-called, and then it's just a breakup. Really, everybody breaks up and they go way over there and now they're, they're over there, right? It's called an item or something, but it's like, well, can you can you make it to band practice? I mean, I thought we're, you know what I mean? It's like, why, why does the one-on-one -on -one have to be such a, well, I, I got buried. Oh, really? I thought that, 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 that there was, that we, uh, what does buried mean? Okay. So just keep playing, you know, and pretty soon you're like, where did everybody go? They just, you know, I'm just kidding, maybe. How do you like the story so far? I'm trying to be happy with the hell, the truth about, um, what Pluto is going to be doing for us. See, we just experienced a heavy duty uh, Venus Pluto thing. And, you know, it's hard to tra la la um, with all of this and, and going on. Um, uh, you, you know, people really do want to tra la la and they can. And this is where I'm completely worried. You know, the, the um, I should stop worrying, but, but I, I, I don't know. I, I put up another video that tells you something that I'm pretty sure is sad. It's coming, you know, but le because um, of the nature of this realm and good old Jesus Christ. Hi, Jesus. Am I doing good? You sure are, baby. Come with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost my place. Not really. I always do though when I go there. I'm like, ah, oh, thank God. Fuck this world. <clears throat> Gee, piece of crap. We're supposed to do something here too, you know, and especially with this. I mean, pat that that we should say you know, like you're supposed to be like you, you use your eyeballs. I, I I've opened up the scripture, you know. What I mean, here it is. You just have to get some therapy. Go go to your therapist. Why do we have the therapist? The therapist. <laughs> well, I told you it was a big, big, big kind of expansive story. I would love to put up the, does um, society have a responsibility towards its, um, um, the disadvantage? And the answer is just a swift no right away and then explain for another nine hours why. Because, um, well, it's obvious they can care less. And then, but then there's a whole other thing is then who um, created that in the first place, but the society that comes and tries to help them um, as far as um, that. And would you shut up? What next? What next? Go ahead. Go ahead and put a billboard in the sky. I want to see that but rather than just the staged atom bomb went off or aliens have come. But no, they're going to do the, the most. They've been doing already the most primitive thing, which is to mask everything in fires. And it's like, we're just supposed to believe that we cannot, ha we cannot live here. With Sometimes the whole place just burns down. We haven't figured that out yet. You know, we did. It was a beautiful, um, like, bunch of completely stone freaking cities under the jungle right now, right? The pyramids and the beautiful um, statuesque structures that will not burn, you know, but, uh, we, we, anyway, so let's get back. And that wasn't too long ago, but I'm just trying to, you know, we were looking at the first Pluto square that happens on it. I'm going to give you some dates, 23rd. See, but this is happening right at the full moon. Pluto is where, you know, um, it's the, the, the degree of um, the full moon is, is right where Pluto is going to go back to 29 degrees. So it's really hard to tell about this energy, except for it's so heavy. It's so heavy that um, I hope you guys are doing radical self-care. Radical self-care, You just I hope that you have learned to live like Rambo. If you have been, at least um, like you've, you did, you, you are um, gardening. You know, you know how to kill a fish and, and eat its head or something like that. You know, or at least psychologically prepare. No, like try to distill your own water. That's one thing that I'm thinking about. It's like, you know what? Because I knew somebody and I used to go to his house and he said, well, it took a while, but he used to share me with me the distilled water. He was distilling it out of his tap, you know, which is pretty much what you need to start doing. 
And so, yeah, um, I do it in my mind. I'm smart enough. I know what the whole process is. And you can do it with just pots and pans, like bigger pot and a pan and a plate and stuff like this. Catchers and, 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 and stuff like that. So anyway, but yeah, just psychologically prepare. Just think of it. Just flash on it. Just freak yourself out for 16 seconds. What would you do with the power, with, if your internet turned off? To some people, it's just the internet, right? I know how it feels, but, but really, I know how it feels to just disconnect. And it's like, oh, God, thank God. Go out and hug a tree, fucking splash yourself with some water from a gutter or something. I don't know, but please, I mean, I'm, be careful. You, you know, I hope you like this film. What I'm trying to tell you is kind of intense, but we are going through some intense times, babes, and... Um, uh, us Plutonian people, we don't sit back while we're ha while there's a Pluto um, aspect coming up or a Mars aspect. See, it's kind of related to Mars, but especially the Mars aspects that we've been having. Well, I'm Pluto and Mars kind of person, just to break it to you, and also a Sun and a Uranus and a Mercury and all that. But but it just means that um, my outer planets are. Well, my my chart is Mars ruled. So Donald Trump is a warlord. Yeah. I know I, I made kind of a positive video, but let me let me tell you about his the fact that he has a, a Venus conjunct Saturn. That Venus conjunct Saturn, the, the, the people that have a Venus conjunct Saturn, and oh, okay, wow, okay, I just remember because he has Neptune in Libra. He has Libra planets that also squares his Venus Saturn thing. This person, um, I hate to be biased or anything, like, but, um, his love life is, is he, see, some people do not have a love life. They don't know what love is. They, it's way too, it's like a lot of work and people don't know. It's like love, love isn't a lot of work when it feels like a lot of work. It's not love there. No, that's part of the, now that I know what's going on in this planet, um, this planet does not harbor love very... If it does, it's made an escape. It's like, oh, did you make it? Good. Beam, Scotty. One made it out. Next. Or is it another one bites to death? Another one bites to death? It's mainly everybody biting the dust here, man. I hate to tell you. I, But I think, you know, we're trying to head for ascension. We're trying to rise up. But it's looking, it's looking, see, oh God, have mercy. I, I, I put up that other video about, it says Donald Trump and something like this, but, and I don't have any concern about it, but, but, but really it's, it's just sad because we do mix it up here. We, we, we are sharing this planet with people that will just to fucking destroy the place. I hate to sound like that. I hope something better happens. But, you know, my mom was a Capricorn rising and, she said, um, expect the worst, hope for the best. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an Aries rising saying, you know what? Take the, take the E down, hop, hop, hop for the best. Take that leap. Do not believe in hope. Hope is a fear standing on its head. You can always replace the word fear with hope and it makes more sense. Oh, the people in the hospital, as soon as they gave up hope, they died. Yeah, they gave up their fear. Next. Oh, um, I sure hope that that thing doesn't get hit by the train. You're fearing that it will get hit by the train. I understand. I have hope that something is going to happen, that it's going to come through. Oh, you're really fearing that you, you just, and what the hell is hope anyway? But you're saying, I have no idea how it's going to work. I'm just going to go like this <laughs> and throw everything in the air. And and do you, do you think that there's anything that you can do with the situation? Can you like hop over there and push them out of the way and say, fucking A, did you really want that train to hit you? I don't know, babes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This is Pluto speaking. And then Leo is pretty hip. You know, Leo, we can laugh together. You know, with, with the Leo, you know, we, we have Sun and Leo, and then it's opposing Pluto, so it's not exactly a square. They're looking at each other, and they're going... <laughs> 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 
See, Donald Trump has um, Leo rising, but it's at 29 degrees. It's a trip, and then he has Mars, and, you know, this person is a, he has Mars right on the Ascendant, so he's a, a warlord. But then I was trying to tell you about, okay, the people that have Venus square affliction, affliction, they, they, they don't know what love is. So so they're kind of miserable. I mean, they, they, they could have a very, I mean, their whole life, they're just not going to know what love is. Sorry, some people just don't. I mean, they, they know what money is. They know what bad taste is. I get, yeah, bad taste is a really good way to put it because Venus rules your taste. And you, you can, I'm telling you, I've been studying astrology for a long time and I know what I'm talking about. Any kind of Venus affliction, especially like a Saturn square or a Pluto square, the the Mercury square Venus is so weird. And I, and I don't think that that happens. Does it happen? Yeah, there's no reason for that to happen. The thing that doesn't, that, 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 that doesn't happen ever is the Mercury square Sun. Uh, because I don't, for some reason, I don't think Mercury ever gets away from the Sun enough because of how close it is to the Sun or something. I don't know. I could be wrong. But um, when... When Mercury, when Venus squares Mercury, these people can't connect like an um, artistry. They can't, they are the ones putting together green and pink. And then we're going to add a touch of, you know, maroon and put a square and a circle together with a, 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 and then unfortunately they're the ones that will just try to do art like crazy. And it's like, ugh, and, right. And, and they wear, the, you know, they're the ones that maybe they are dyeing their hair green right now. And it's like, you know what? I like natural color. I don't care if it's gray or what. But no, my favorite color is, and I'm just going off of the handle here, is, of course, because I'm blonde, is the um, is this one kind of black hair. This beautiful black hair. Really, it's it's not pitch black. You know, I don't know if you know what I mean, like Wonder Woman's hair or something like that. Or maybe um, Tom Cruise has that kind of hair. And I think that those kinds of hair colored people like the blonde hair people. Oh my God, I went way off over here. Superficial shit. And watch out for that with the, with the Leo thing. Leo's kind of superficial and we're going to do the circle thing, uh, circus thing. And look at that um, show that Donald Trump really is doing. And I'm here to tell you that the technological advancements are so um, accurate as far as what we, they know what is out there as far as the universe. I mean, just bring it all up on the table and let's see. Yeah, you can... You can um, stage a little thing. He would do a little thing, you know, um, with that. Um, I don't see that anything. It's too confusing of a thing right now. And there's going to be a lot more. They have centralized control more and more. There's a lot of confusion. That's all. And then when they start to just wipe out the confusion, you see, they, they, they want to, to just cause a blank. And like I said, prepare to camp. I hope you can get into your microcosms. It might not even be that bad, but the tension in the air. Did you learn how to meditate? Did you just learn how to tune out the fuck the world? Just forget it. Turn it off. Turn it off and, and watch your fellow people um, with the same background telling you the same things. I guess. I don't know. But uh, yes, no, we do have this amazing thing coming up, babe, pray for me because how it does square my moon, but I, I've been doing pretty good, you know, I don't talk about my personal life very much, but um, what little love is in my life is, I'm making it work for me, but to, to, truthfully, um, you people out there, you need to fucking put more effort, it's, and I'm going to talk to the Libra, I want to talk to the Libra about it, because the south node is in Libra for everybody, this is the question, you know, um, can we let go of our um, like our bad patternings that doesn't make our relationships connect and work. See, with the Libra, I'm sorry, they need to let go of their toxic relationship. It's not different. And they need to realize that they might be in trouble not knowing chemistry enough that they never seen what it is to be in a harmonious relationship. See, talking about now getting back to Donald Trump and how he has a Venus, which is Libra ruled, but it's in Cancer. And he has a very heavy duty um, affiliation with the moon down there. I mean, he with with the moon being oh my god, with the moon being um, opposite the sun, which means it's a, he's a lunatic. It means he was born on a full moon. So this person could fly off the handle. You know what I mean? And he does. He looks like a permanent fucking. Um, like his his thermometer is just at the top, you know what I'm saying? He's like, ah, right? 
So the, the affliction with the, the Venus Pluto, these people have bad taste. They, they have a terrible, they're jealous of people that just have a magic about love. See, love is a, is a skill. It's the skill behind skills. It knows how to see a little better, right? It, it just has a, it's different. It's the heart. It's an ear. It listens. In and of itself, it's, it's God. It, it knows everything. It's just going to be, oh, it can smooth anything out. It solves all problems. See, I feel people are like, huh, 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 contorting towards it. And it's like, yeah, the highest octave of love is not the mind. And if you can ever just be the presence, it's never too late. But I'm telling you, man, it does take a hell of a, like, you have to have a, a life free of the constant barking dog. You know, and if you're lucky, you have a, a place to meditate and you be in the environment of meditation and you should ideally be in the presence of others who meditate, of, you know, and whether it's an accident or that people are like, and, and now this is what we're doing on the monastery. I, I don't know, but, but the accident thing is a very good way to start looking at it because when we look at most people will not, don't even know what meditation really is. And this is the way you can tell that they don't know what meditation is, is they'll say, well, you know, I meditated for 20 minutes a day. And then they'll say something like, well, um, sometimes when I meditate, it's just 20 minutes. And then, but then a certain thing happens. It's like, babes, when you really understand what meditation is and you've hit the first entrance into the meditation and you realize what it is, there isn't any reason to come out of it. All you are is just like, okay, I realize the, the information field of the mind and everybody's mind, really, and you don't convince yourself of that. You just realize you see it and you can come and go from that. Really, it doesn't disappear. It's there. You can make it way in the background. And see, that's what a musician is doing, I hope. Really, I, that's what I've been doing. That's how I did it, I think. It's just an accidental thing. You have to get a higher learning tool. Dave, your higher learning tool is your body, not the mind. See, there's three dimensions. You have the mind, body, and the mind. See, you want to get in your body, get away from this little mind down here. You want to get in your body so that you can, be, see, these are two right here will become one. Hello. And um, talking about reality, the, the mind of God, outer space. Breathe in that good ass prana, baby. Whew. See, this is the thing I found out. See, it's not very fun here. You know, a lot of people are in the place they want to be. Um, and, and see that the thing that to, to figure out that, the fact that you are in this place, a prison planet, it's never going to go anywhere. It's really hard. See, there's a lot of creative people here that pick up on that, but they don't know what they're picking up on. And they just become all kinds of different ways. Addicted, you know. Um, no wonder there's so much addiction and people just addicted and doing this and that because they don't if they ever got it together they would see again uh something way too overwhelming right it's better to just go nuts and that's what they call you know there's very few i don't know anything about this book but i keep thinking is one flew over the cuckoo's nest like every that's what i saw you know when i look up and i see this vehicle in the sky that's going 180,000 miles an hour M must have been. And I just, I, I slowed everything down and, saw, and was like, oh my God. Because it just went clear across the sky. I live on a mountain. So I saw, saw the span of this thing and I kind of got a glimpse of it and, it. and it looks like, okay, a pointed, like kind of like Star Trek thing. But it was a pill shape. But I think that that was more like, you can see that there's a, of energy in, in front of it but it was a little bus and yes there's one flying over the cuckoo's nest right there wherever amelia Earhart flew off to where all wherever the, all of the intelligent people went she never came back as just being a wise person that's all and maybe that does happen but we're about to feel a massive heart calling with the the leo planets we already are with with um venus there venus is right now while i'm making this video is on the 19th seven o'clock 
and Venus is at 10 degrees. It's gonna, it's about to get to the 11th degree, but it's at, well, it's at 10, 9, and that does sextile my, all my planets, and it's a really, it, it's going to start opposing my, my moon, and, and that's kind of like the, the, the Leo of Aquarius opposition is what I'm trying to talk about is the sun is going to oppose Pluto over there, and it's like, it's ridiculous. Why does, okay, Aquarius thinks that, um, that now that we see the whole show and everything, the truth and everything, let's just put it out on the table. And, and like, here's the Aquarius moon, me, you know, we tend to be romantics, you know, we're, we're all romanticizing things with our electrical current. That's what, um, they kind of fuse Leo and, and, um, Leo rules romance and the kids and the whole entertainment and the warmy warm and it's the sun and it's like oh god isn't this just grow a plant and it's the thing that's supposed to be happening on earth it's just a, a jolly good old time and um uh, all that Aquarius would be doing is electrifying it really it's actually Aquarius is providing the um the electricity behind it that's what holds all of the celestial bodies in place is lightning see that's what aquarius points at is like you know uh, lightning it's just all of technology and how it's driven and and uh, te when you look at what tesla was doing is it rules science and the science behind the sun and stuff and it's like well you look into it oh we don't even know that so a, a lot of things you you need to just look at things. You need to wash off all of the history that they told you, and especially the science of nature. And you you need to go out and just look for yourself. Just like me, like I w went around the mountain over here. There's a place called Joshua Tree. You go over there, you look. Well, I've never been here before, but but this looks like a meltdown. Can you tell? Oh, uh, now, now where I live, yeah, this is a, not a geological structure that it came out of the volcano and it little shift and then the water no 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 some things are not like that some things are huge monumental structures that have been melted down i mean mountain sized and then that's i think it's wherever you see these trees growing look at the trees how old are the trees well some of them in northern california boast to be two thousand years old that's not very old uh, but um yeah you know it's questionable you know there's a lot of material laying around and not saying that all of it is, um, see, they can pick it up and, and squirt it out. And it could be that, um, yeah, sure, glaciers and bay. This is, there isn't anything natural happening here. This is a technological arena. I'm trying to make you understand creation of creation itself. And the, 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 the weird thing that I'm looking at here is how icky this particular simulation, simulation, simulation is. You know, the politician, um, D. Trump, he's right about um, how he, 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 you know, his trick is he just pierces right into the holy God honest truth, but then he goes off over here and that's what they're fucking built to do. So, yeah, he's right about the, that nobody's, <laughs> nobody's being present to the forests. You know, if we did that.